Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To pay the bills you have created, click the Create icon and under the Vendors heading, click the Pay Bills link. This will open the Pay Bills page that will have a list of all the bills that you owe. On this page, select the payment account from which you want the bills to be paid by using the drop-down box at the top of the page. Enter the date for the bill payments into the Payment Date field. If you want to print the checks later, ensure that there is a check mark in the Print Later check box. If you want to enter the starting check number to record bills that you have written by hand, uncheck the Print Later check box and then enter the starting check number into the Starting Check Number field instead. Bills for the last 365 days are shown in a list within this window. To filter the list of bills shown, click the Filter button at the top of the list. Note that the current filter choice is shown to the right of the button. In the drop-down menu that appears, you can filter the list by selecting a choice from any of the drop-down fields shown. The fields within this menu are Due Date, From and To, Payee, and, if enabled, Location. You can also check the Overdue Status Only checkbox to only show overdue bills. To apply your filter, click the Apply button in the drop-down menu. To clear your selections and reset the filters to their default values, click the Reset button instead. After applying a filter, the name of the filter appears to the right of the Filter button. You can click the X by the name of the filter to remove it and reset the display to its default last 365 days setting. The column headings for your bills list are Pay, Payee, Reference Number, Due Date, Open Balance, Credit Applied, Payment, and Total Amount. You can click the names of the column headings shown from Payee all the way down to Open Balance to sort the bill list by the values within those columns in either ascending or descending order. The sort order changes each time that you click the same column. To select a bill to pay, check the checkbox under the Pay column at the left end of the bill's row. To mark all of the bills shown to be paid, check the topmost checkbox within the Pay column to the left of the Payee column heading. You can click it again after it has been checked to deselect all of the selected bills. After a bill is selected to be paid, the full amount of the bill will be entered into the payment column. If making a partial bill payment, you can enter a different value into the payment field for the selected bill. The bill will be kept within the pay bills window, but the open balance on the bill will change by the partial bill payment amount when shown in the future. Below the payment column, you will see the total payment for the total of all of the selected bills. Below that you can see the current account balance for your selected payment account minus the total payment and the new account balance that will be available after the selected bills are paid. At the bottom right hand side of the page is a drop down button with three different choices Save, Save and Print, and Save and Close. Clicking the Save button will create the bill payment checks within the QuickBooks Online Plus system and mark the selected bills as paid. Selecting Save and Print will open the Print Check window which displays a list of the bill payment checks for the bills you selected to pay. This list will also contain any other types of checks that you have waiting to be printed as well. The Save and Close option will create the bill payment checks within the QuickBooks Online Plus system, mark the selected bills as paid, and close the Pay Bills window. If you decide to not pay any bills, you can also click the Cancel button in the lower left corner of the Pay Bills window to close the window and remove any entries that you have made on the page. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.